Thank you. Honorable Chairs, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, I am very pleased to join you this afternoon, which I see as an excellent opportunity for us to collectively discuss the way forward in strengthening the global system for the benefit of both present and future generations. Unfortunately, today's world is more multipolar and less multilateral. We are witnessing an unprecedented number of conflicts since the Cold War, compounded by humanitarian, energy and climate crisis, as well as rising food insecurity due to the increasing polarization among the countries. We are at a crucial juncture where we must decide the shape of our future. Could we do more for the generations yet to come? The answer lies in our collective will and actions, which will ultimately determine the legacy we leave for succeeding generations. To honor our commitment to the future generations and create a better world, we shall work together to build strong institutions, uphold the grid rules, and reinforce international law. On these values, Montenegro has made multilateralism a cornerstone of its foreign policy, recognizing that one of its primary objectives is to commit to a shared set of rules agreed among nations. Choosing multilateralism means choosing rules over the force. In this light, we firmly believe that contemporary challenges must be addressed in joint cooperation of all international community actors, regardless of their geographic size, economic standing and military power. Such collaborative approach will contribute to meaningful reforms and pave the way for a more peaceful, secure, democratic and prosperous future for all citizens. Dear colleagues, effective multilateralism is fulfilled when all voices are heard. In this context, Montenegro, as a member of the Forum of Small States, welcomes all initiatives aimed at fostering more inclusive, accountable and effective global governance framework. For the benefit and well-being of the future generations, we need to reform the UN system in order to make it more relevant, efficient and credible for today's world. This includes reforming the Security Council, revitalization of the work of the General Assembly and enhancing cooperation with other stakeholders. We shall intensify our efforts to address the climate crisis through migration, mitigation and adaptation, building partnerships with all stakeholders. As we reach the midpoint of SDG implementation, it seems that the world is far from achieving sustainable development, highlighting the urgent need for scaled-up action. For the well-being of future generations, we have to do more to accelerate implementation of the Agenda 2030 and sustainable development goals. In short, we are here to act. Thank you.